Hey guys, so uh, today's video is just a little bit of an update. I um, <clears throat> wanted to talk about how coronavirus has been affecting us, um, how it's affecting training, how it's affecting European Championships, um, us having to shut the business, just general life. Um, there's a lot going on right now, a lot of people being affected by it. Um, so I'd say two Fridays ago, we took the decision to shut the gym. Um, we went a lot earlier than most, but we just felt that there was no point in taking the risk. Um, we kind of knew it was inevitable and was coming anyway, so we just took that choice to kind of shut two or three days earlier and make sure everybody was safe. Um, and make sure they could still go home to their families and not be quarantined because they picked up something at the gym. Um, or worse, someone actually got properly sick and, and whatever else that could happen. Um, now that obviously is a pretty big decision. I mean, there's no money coming in, there's no money going out, um, and as a as a relatively new business, it is it's a huge step to kind of take. Now, luckily, we don't have any debts. We didn't get in over our head, so in that sense, we're still pretty good. I mean, once this all ends, we can go back to uh, where we left off, hopefully. Um, now we are still doing workouts online for our members and, and live workouts and private workouts and whatever else to keep people getting the value even though we've frozen their payments um, but yeah uh, it, it's a it's a crazy kind of situation um, we just have to follow the rules try and stay at home and try and not interact with as many people as possible and and try and get this to die down no, I don't think this is going to stop until there is a vaccine. There's going to have to be some sort of restrictions in place until there's a vaccine. Otherwise, this is just going to spread again. And that's just the way it is. Um, other than that, uh, I was meant to be going to Moscow to the weight, European Weightlifting Championships, which have obviously been postponed. Um, I've kind of made the decision that I'm not even going to go if they are run later in the year. I can see them being run later in the year to be very surprising, but even if they are, I'm not going to bother going. It's it's a lot of money for something that's not usually important to me. Um, I'm not competitive at that level. Um, I don't need it to go to the Olympics. Uh, it's just not worth the, the money and the risk of being quarantined in Russia for two weeks. Um, uh, my goals really haven't changed other than that. Um, I still want to just snatch 150, clean and jerk 180. Um, and although the gym is closed, I can still keep training. So I can still keep moving forward with them goals. So I will. And hopefully, maybe by the end of the year, into next year, we'll be looking at hitting that 150 snatch and the 180 clean and jerk for the first time. Um, realistically, I can just set more Irish records. I'm never going to be elite, I'm too old for that, started in the sport too late, but what we can do is we can set the standard for the next generation, um, and they can come and actually have a goal to beat, and we can actually help that next generation to come and surpass and maybe be elite themselves, so we'll see how that goes. Other than that, general life, trying to pass the time, <laughs> walking the dog. Come here, look at this fucking dog. Ted. <laughs> Playing the PlayStation, trying to get good at Apex. <laughs> you fucking mastered me. Um, what else are we doing? Uh, eating, drinking, um, and not a lot else. We, we have to keep our distance from people. We can't really go out too much. But what I can do actually is. is make better videos and it's something I'm gonna be able to put a lot more time into now in the next few weeks even months depending on how long this goes on um, and hopefully I can make better quality videos and put out more videos on a more consistent basis um, so yeah that's about it for today um, I hope you're all staying safe and I will see you in the next video
smooth. Shocking. I went too fast. Truly awful. I went too fast. Oh, she's lost. She has nowhere to go. <laughs> She's stuck. <laughs> Turn your leg towards the fridge. <laughs> right. Can't go past that My axe is starting to crap. <laughs> Great TV show. I'm absolutely not. I'm not even going to watch his American pictures that you're already recording. Yeah, exactly. That's the good countdown. Well, not really. The official countdown. You're not turning your ankle at all. You gotta like work that way, the other way. Yeah, yeah. Angle it so it's. When the roll is falling this way, your ankle is stopping it. And I found lifting my hips as I go to turn over is. Now we're, you gotta use the ankle as well. Use your ankle. What? Use your ankle. It doesn't go anywhere. It does. You're never gonna get it if you don't use your ankle. Yep, 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 yep. See, hold, don't move. Your ankle needs to be here. It doesn't go there. It does, look, it just flattens just your foot. That. See the way then you'll be able to balance. Hang on, don't move. Now you'll be able now, to keep going. Continue. Keep that angle. And keep rotating. There you go. There you go. Take like one of your French girls. Watching me getting all the tips. I'm just able to get his foot back. Yeah, we're trying to, yeah. So that oh, he's actually gone on the floor. Oh, fuck off. Oh, don't bail under the pressure. <laughs> yeah, you have it now. Drop the knee. And slide the ass <laughs> over to the sh yeah. Sinead! He was watching me getting all the tips, sure. No! <laughs> you took your eye off it. Oh, you have to. You can turn it over. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Oh, his fucking head doesn't go 360 degrees. <laughs>